Okay, so today we got problems on problems that got other problems that even made bigger problems all from one problem. Man, welcome to today's video. Alright, what is going on you guys? It is your boy Party Boy TV and I got a problem for you guys today. And I got solutions for you guys also today. But first things first, I am fresh off of work. It is, as you can see here, it's about 2.05 in the morning. And like I said before, we got problems, man. So let me take y'all over to the where the problems is, all right? Problems I'm having. So this down here, see if you guys can see. This is my problem. Now, if you don't know what that is, that basically is the fact that my cloud ceiling, if you can see there, there has come apart so let me try to get a little better view for you guys all right so get you that and get you to be able to see that as well all right so again like i said the cloud ceiling has came down that is my problem so yeah the goal is to go ahead and get this fixed up but obviously it's too late tonight so i'm going to have to check it out tomorrow so the goal for me for you guys is to explain to you guys how long it took for this to actually happen and what are some of the pros and cons of having a cloud ceiling hack all right so stay tuned i'm gonna show you all all the tricks and stuff that i need to let y'all know all right all right what's going on again like i said before i had to freshen up get on ready it is the next day and then it's time to go ahead and head on out again like i said before today we are repairing the cloud ceiling here which uh somehow decided to fall as you see some more of the stuff down here so again like i said we're repairing the cloud ceiling i'm gonna head on out i'm gonna show you all the materials that i'm going to purchase in order to be able to repair your cloud ceiling so again like i said it's from what i see it doesn't seem that bad so it shouldn't be too extensive of a job but i am going to take extra measurements to make sure everything is good and everything stays smooth so like i said before hang with me i'm gonna be back we finna go grab some materials, you know what I'm saying? All right, so I'm at Walmart. The first thing I'm gonna be grabbing is the spray adhesive. I got the Galer, uh, Glorilla spray adhesive. This is the one I used last time. So I'm gonna go with this one again. I'm gonna toss that into the cart. There is some different ones down here, but I decided to go with the Glorilla spray adhesive. All right, next thing we're grabbing is the three pack plastic drops. So I can be able to cover up the surfaces so the spray adhesive don't get all over it. Oh, spray adhesive don't get over everything. You know what I'm saying? So grab these. Next thing we're grabbing is some gloves. These right here should do the job. This will help out with the spray adhesive and it getting all over your hands because it is very sticky. You don't want that getting all over your hands. All right, next thing we're gonna be grabbing is some thumbtacks. Uh, this would be able to help with the drop cloth, putting it on the walls and making sure everything isn't uh, falling all over the place or whatnot. Now, even though we don't need any more polyfill, because I still got a lot left from the um, from the last batch, I'm at your local Walmart and you're able to pick this stuff up. And let me see how much it goes. So it's like $5.99 for 16 ounces, $14 for a 50 ounce bag so again you can go to your local walmart and pick up any of this polyfill okay so that wraps everything up we pretty much got everything in the cart so we're gonna see how much all this costs and get ready to get back to the crib and get the job done all right so we got everything we need 25 dollars wasn't too bad on the pockets, y'all know, but uh, like I said before, I'm gonna head on back, go ahead and put this cloud ceiling up, man, and see how easy it is, you know what I mean? So, see y'all there. All right, guys, I'm finally back, and we're gonna actually go ahead and get started with this project. So, like I said before, bought the plastic um, drop cloth, so I'm about to basically cover up this wall so the spray adhesive doesn't get on it. And like I said, I'm gonna use these tacks to help uh, stick the plastic cloth onto the wall. So go ahead and stay tuned. Let's see how it goes. All 
all right guys so now we got this side covered up with a plastic drop i'm going to cover up this side as well this side is more expensive so i definitely don't need any of that sticky stuff getting it was the sticky spray he's getting on this side on this stuff on this side you know what i mean so definitely gonna cover this up i'm not gonna i'm not gonna tack uh this side onto the wall i'm gonna just throw it over the monitors and um over the chair and we're gonna be good to go all right All right, guys, now we pretty much got the plastic over everything for the most part. You got it on this side, got it on this side, covering everything up. Now we got the polyfill here and the hole here that needs to get repaired. So let's go ahead and get to it, man. Let me show you how it's done, man. Let me show you how it's done. All right, and again, today we are going to be using the Glorilla spray adhesive. This is what I use to put the cloud sealing up. Like I said before, get you some gloves because this is gonna make the process a lot easier and make sure the stuff doesn't get all over your hands and because this stuff is really sticky, especially the spray adhesive. Now, in my disclaimer from last video, um, like I said, I used the spray adhesive over the glue gun. To me, for some reason, the glue gun was not effective and did not work. So I started trying to put the um, polyfill on the ceiling with the glue gun, but for some reason, I don't know if I'm just not doing it right, but it's not really sticking as well as I thought it was gonna stick. It also does seem like like I'm using a lot of glue and it's still not sticking. So I'm actually gonna turn this in and actually go get the spray adhesive and hopefully we get a better result. The spray adhesive was much better. However, the spray adhesive, they say it's really not good for your health, breathing that stuff in. Stuff like that so if you are doing this job make sure you get you a little mask put it over your face i know it may not solve all the problems but it should help out a little bit and enough for something so go ahead grab you a little mask however mask whatever mask you got i'm pretty sure everybody should be masked up now after this pandemic and all this stuff didn't happen everybody should have had some of these on deck for sure but again like i said before the spray adhesive to me was a lot better and a lot smoother and it worked just 10 times better so all right, let's go ahead and get into it. It was at this moment that he knew he f***ed up. All right, guys, so I am almost done, if you can see. Uh, yeah, I'm almost done, almost done. But what I do want to say to you guys is don't be like me and do the dummy, because I did the dummy this time. So what I ended up doing was I ended up spraying the spray adhesive with my watch on, my brand new Galaxy S6 Classic watch on with the rotating bezels. And the problem with that is if the spray adhesive gets on the rotating bezel, it might cause the, the rotating bezel to not stick. And yeah, that was just dumb of me. So hopefully I'm gonna be able to clean it up. The band does have it on there a little bit, but I can get another band. The band wasn't too expensive, but if they damage the watch, man, ah, dude, that's I'm gonna be out of like 400 something dollars man so again make sure you take off all jewelry anything important just take it all off man just take it all off save yourself the money and save yourself the headache all right but look i'm gonna get back into it let's go Alright guys, so now I'm finally finished with repairing the cloud ceiling. I'm gonna remove all this stuff. Remove all this uh, plastic uh, uh, cloth stuff. And then I'm gonna get to answering you guys' questions. A few questions that I seen you guys asking online. And just a couple of general things about the cloud ceiling for people who wanna know. So just stay tuned, stick around. Got a, like maybe about like 10 questions I'm gonna try to answer for you guys. And yeah, and if you got any more questions, feel free to um, comment under the video or comment under my old video and let me know. And I'll try to see if I can answer them as best I can. All right, so stay tuned.
All right, like I said, guys, so I'm basically finna get on here and answer a few questions for you guys that I seen, and I wanna make sure you guys get the best understanding of this job. So one of the first questions is, how long does the cloud ceiling last? Now, for me, this I, I, I put this cloud ceiling up about a year ago, and within a whole year's time, it's only, only that main piece that, that you seen, that piece right there is the one piece that fell down. So I would say the cloud ceiling just as a whole, me taking a look at it and stuff, it's, I would probably say I probably got about another six more months out of it and then I might have to redo it. But as you've seen, the, uh, to repair the cloud ceiling isn't hard, very simple, doesn't take that long and it doesn't take that much money. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's, uh, like I said, the cloud ceiling to me as a whole probably took about a, a probably over, over a year. Uh, and also this is very dependent on how you, how you put it up there. I don't know the difference, uh, if you put up staples because staples is, uh, kind of like, I guess like better if that makes sense. So if you if you're able to get that up with the staples, it might last longer. Um, if you, you was able to get it up with the glue gun, I'm not sure how that was. Again, like I said before, for me the glue gun wasn't good at all. So the spray adhesive was the best way to go about it. But if you when you when you're actually doing the spray adhesive, you do notice or when you spraying the spray adhesive onto the cloud cylinder or the polyfill, I would say it does feel like it's not really doing much. But when you press it up there and it starts sticking, you'd be like, ah, it, it does give like a, a small sense of feeling like it's not really up there. But surprisingly, it was up there for a whole year. So that's my take on that. All right, next question. How long did it take for me to put this cloud ceiling up? All right, so again, if you wanna watch my video, I do have the video on YouTube. I will post the link down below, but to answer the question is, it took me probably about five to six hours to be able to put this cloud ceiling up myself. And I did have a little bit of help towards the end. So that kind of sped up the time. So if you are doing this by yourself, this could be about a, about a five to six hour job. Um, if you had somebody helping you through, through the whole process of it, you could probably cut down your time by like maybe at least about an hour or two. You know what I mean? So like I said, my, my idea is probably about five to six hours. All right. Does spiders get into the cloud ceiling? Hmm. The answer is, I don't know, man. Everybody house is case by case. Uh, My house, spiders isn't a thing here at my house. So no, I haven't seen spiders um climbing into the, the clouds or whatnot like that. But at the end of the day, you can't really do nothing about spiders, man. Spiders are gonna do what they wanna do regardless. So you could try to keep them away or whatever, but it is what it is. I mean, obviously if you notice some spiders getting up there, you can remove a piece of the cloud ceiling take care of what needs to be taken care of, and then put it back up there. So spiders should not be a uh, reasoning for why you don't put a cloud ceiling up unless you have a phobia of spiders. And that's no offense to nobody, but if you do, then I can understand that. But from my experience with having a cloud ceiling up for about a year now, no spiders I've ever seen. So that's the answer to that. All right, so question number four, what lights am I using for my cloud ceiling? All right, now this is very important, and I'm gonna say it again, this is very important. You need to get the Govi RGB IC. Very important on the IC. The reason why I say this is this will change the experience for you if you don't get the IC. So the original RGB lights, they, they're not multicolored. So they can only do so many different things. But with the IC part on it, each uh, each of the individual lights on the uh, light strip can change, it can change to different colors. So what that basically means is once you get the Govi app, there's a lot of different scenes and a lot of different things you can do with the lights that is just amazing. Like you can do riddles, ripples. You can make it feel like um, like you're in a lightning storm, and then and then and then it can react to your sound and it. it Oh, it's a plethora of things you can do with it, but the IC part of it is very important. If you don't get that, it's going to change the experience, and it may be a waste of time if you don't get that. Does the spray adhesive mess with the smoke detector? Yes. So, when you are doing the cloud ceiling, you are going to, uh, well, in most cases, everybody does have a smoke detector. Pretty much, I want to say, in like every room or every other room or something along those lines. In this particular case, in my room, the smoke detector is in the room. I will put a picture of that up on the uh, 
in the uh, video. So the smoke detector is in my studio room. So basically what I decided to do was I just put the uh, cloud ceilings close by. It did set off the alarm when you are spraying it near the uh, smoke alarm, but it shouldn't do anything. Just try to be gentle with it. I went real light over in that area and I was able to take care of it and get everything take uh, put up like I need it to be. So, I mean, yeah, it's gonna, it's definitely gonna make the alarm go off if you are spraying it right next to the uh, smoke alarm or smoke detector. So that's the answer to that question. All right, question number six. What materials was used to put up the cloud cellar? All right, again, like I said before, watch the video. The video is gonna explain everything that happens, but I will tell you what, uh, what items I did purchase in order to put the cloud cellar up. So the first thing I purchased was the polyfill. Then I have, I bought, uh, okay, so I bought polyfill, poster board, staple gun, spray adhesive, and the RGB IC strips. And that is everything you'll need to, in order to be able to put up your cloud cellar. All right, so everybody keeps on asking this question, how big is my room? And how much spray adhesive or polyfill do you need? Now, to answer this question is, everybody's situation is gonna be case by case. But in my specific case, my room is a 10 by 11 or 11 by 10 size room, right? So for me, I bought, for polyfill, I bought a uh, two 10 uh, pound, two 10 pounds, so 20 pounds worth of polyfill. Now, all in all, I probably, I used one whole box and maybe about two pounds extra out of the second box to be able to put up my uh, cloud ceiling. So for, for me, that was, uh, like I said, probably about 12 pounds of polyfill. Now, I wanted my clouds to be extra fluffy. Depending on how you are as a person, you might not want your stuff to be super fluffy or not. Also, I still got more polyfill. I still got about about eight more pounds left of polyfill. I do plan on using, uh, using the rest of that polyfill to do other little things that I can do with it with uh, another cloud ceiling somewhere else. Maybe not a cloud ceiling, maybe a cloud wall or something along those lines. So that's why I got the, got 20 pounds of uh, polyfill. And on the spray adhesive side, I got two cans of spray adhesive. I did go through both cans of spray adhesive. So definitely, I wouldn't be surprised if you need three as well. So that's the answer to that question. Another question is, how much uh, light strip do you need? In this case for me, I bought um, I bought two 32 packs, which ended up being like 34 feet of RGB strips, RGB IC strips. Now, personally for me, now I'm just saying, personally for me, I do feel like um, my cloud ceiling is, is super decent. And I think for most people, this will be enough strip for you. But I think I could have probably bought one more pack of 32 because I like my stuff to be extra. So I definitely think I could have bought one more pack, but I'm cool with the 64. So I get, like I said, the uh, 32 and 32, I'm cool with the 32 and 32, but I definitely could have bought one more 32 pack. So I could have had three packs of 32. So that's my take on it. You know what I mean? All right, last, what is my best advice for anybody that's interested in doing the cloud selling? My best advice is do it. If you got the space, got the room to do it, go ahead and do it. It's a super easy job. It definitely is going to change the aesthetics of the room and add a, a, a crazy mood. Sometimes I come in here and I'm not even recording music or, or editing it. And I just come in here and sit down and just look, look listen to the lights. Maybe he plays some, some lo-fi tones or some low music and just sit back and chill. Or when you sitting in here listening to music loud and you got the uh, the lights reacting to the sound and it's just going all crazy and stuff. Stuff. it's it's a it's a crazy amazing experience highly recommend it um the product all the um the the materials is not expensive uh, i think i said i think i spent less than 200 dollars on all the materials as a whole so for sure it's it, it was definitely worth it um like i said before you do what you want but i would recommend the spray adhesive over anything else i also decide uh if you use the spray adhesive definitely make sure the room is ventilated because when i was doing the spray uh spray adhesive i did feel a little bit lightheaded but again i was in the room for about five hours working on it on this project so it did uh kind of make me feel a little lightheaded so make sure you got the windows open and make sure you got a fan going um the poster board with the staple gun was a was a good smart decision because if you do want to um, remove the cloud ceiling at, at any time in the future you should not be damaging the ceiling as much as you probably would if you was putting a spray adhesive and the cloud ceiling just strictly on the ceiling so yeah i think that was a very big plus in it and yeah man with the rgbc uh the rgb 
icy strips, man, go hard or go home. You know what I mean? Get as much as you can, get all crazy, man, and go crazy. So that's how I feel about it. So that should wrap up all my questions for you guys for sure. All right, and last, man, I want to thank you guys for supporting the page. Again, I really, really appreciate that. Again, your boy is almost about to be monetized, man. I'm a couple of steps away from being monetized. I just need to get my subscribers up. So if you guys do watch this video and manage to get to the end of this video, go ahead, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, comment down below if you got any questions. I'm gonna do my best to try to answer any question that's needed. Again, it is your boy, Party Boy TV, and I'm out. Thank you.